Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pankaj and today we have Roshni Thakur with us who is pursuing her Masters of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Welcome Roshni. Thank you. To start with, could you please uh, introduce about yourself? Yeah, surely. So my name is Roshni Thakur. I did Bachelor's in Civil Engineering from Mumbai University. I graduated in 2020, worked for close to two years in Civil Engineering and then a 3D printing uh, industry. Then I uh, came to Canada in August of 2022, so almost a year back, almost uh, almost close to a year back. And as I came here, I did certain part time. I volunteered a lot in different clubs. I mm -hmm. participated in every single event there was. And then in January, I landed an internship. So just four months after I came to Canada, I landed an internship. Uh, so that was my first internship. It lasted till April, four months internship. Okay. And then I moved forward to another company, another project, uh, and I, where I'm interning currently for my summer term. All right, that was a great introduction. Uh, to start with, the next question would be, what are the different courses that okay. you took uh, while pursuing your master's, like while you're pursuing your master's yeah. right now? Okay, so I completed two semesters with mm -hmm. the University of Ottawa. So the first subject I took was a GNG 5301, that's a professional skills and responsibility course. It is mandatory for all civil engineering graduate students. So it is very important to do it in order to complete your degree. And other than that, I took advanced concrete technology, earthquake engineering, engineering management, because I also wanted to learn something managerial along yeah. with technical. And that's uh, something, some li little bit about the courses. Okay. Yeah. And uh, could you please tell, tell the uh, students, like how many subjects did you take in fall term mm -hmm. and the winter term? So in fall term, I took three subjects. Mm -hmm. In winter term, as I was doing internship, I only took two subjects. Okay. Yeah. As in civil engineering, you have to complete 10 of the courses. That's okay. 30 units. So mm -hmm. five are done, five more to go. Perfect. So with three subjects that you took in your fall term, and since you just landed uh, then, so were you able to manage uh, your studies and doing your part-time as well? Okay, so to be honest, in the start, it was very difficult okay. because it's completely new world. You yeah. cook your own food, you earn your own money, you study. So it was very difficult, but I was able to do it. Okay. And I also was applying at the same time to internships. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was manage manageable. Okay. But the important point is you have to manage your time. You have to make a to-do list. You have to prioritize your tasks. Otherwise, it's difficult. So as yeah. Roshni mentioned, students right there, whoever is coming from your home country to Canada, make sure that you prioritize your time, you make sufficient time for yourself as well as for your studies and for part time. Make a proper to-do list because that's actually very important because uh, starting at the time you wake up to the time you sleep, you will be very busy either with your coursework or by working part-time because you will have to earn for your living. Yeah. Uh, if you bring your own finances, then of course, no need to do your part-time. But if you want uh, to earn your expenses of living, so you will have to do a part-time. The next thing is, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Rosni. Uh, being uh, in the degree of civil engineering, it is very, 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 very difficult <laughs> to get into any internship or to land into uh, any kind of job uh, in Ottawa because I have many of my known friends uh, who actually have not uh, got an internship or not landed to a full-time job after completing the civil engineering course. but. Roshni has got two internships. First internship was just after four months that she landed here. And the second internship was immediately after the first internship. So congratulations to you, uh, because you. it is very difficult uh, as far as I know here, maybe I'm wrong, but as far as I know, uh, most of the students don't land to an internship uh, having civil engineering degree, but you have got one. So. The students would like to know, how did you land to this particular internship just after you landed here and within four months? Okay, first of all, thank you so much for that. And secondly, yes, it is true. It is difficult in civil engineering or mechanical. I have heard a lot. I have many friends who, as you said, did not land an internship or full time. So basically when I came in September, I started applying for summer internships right from October. 
I knew it's too early. I knew maybe I won't get it, but I had a plan that maybe that will help me network. Mm -hmm. That me get help me get in touch with the HRs. Maybe mm -hmm. it will help me in summer internship. But sometime it will help me. It, the, I had that mindset and I started applying. As I started applying, I realized how important is networking. How important is your resume and your LinkedIn, and how important it is that you make it one page or two page. You have a proper format. So I started. Um, collaborating with pdc the professional development club at university of ottawa they helped me uh, groom my resume mm -hmm. the career development center at university helped me in linkedin also uh, i'm sorry but can i talk about yeah. my elder sister yeah. yeah okay so also my elder sister she is in california right now she is working with facebook mm -hmm. and she has been helping me a lot to groom my resume and everything and i had that thing okay maybe it's not so hard what if you try and you get it so my advice would be as soon as you come here please start networking start building your profile uh, your resume your linkedin profile and start networking even if it with professors or any industry career fairs yeah. even if you go there you talk to people it's very important to network and that helped me get an internship like both of my internships got it so first again congratulations on getting that and the next thing uh, that the students would like to know is uh, what with some of the key things that you mentioned in your resume which uh, you know outskilled the others and you landed mm -hmm. into this job yeah surely first of all we have to make sure that the resume format is according to the north american format mm -hmm. first most that secondly i had a lot of uh udemy courses that i did okay. of various software such as primavera etabs autocad which mm -hmm. are very important civil engineering softwares so i did those courses and i mentioned it in my resume and also my linkedin so people know that i have a knowledge of that course a knack of that course secondly cover letter is very important in internships in full time so i really worked a lot on my resume my cover letter mm -hmm. so that uh, that are important things one advice that i would like to give what i used to do i used to go to the job description of every single internship that i am interested in and i have a summary of qualifications section in my resume on the top so i used to match the words from job job description to my resume and that helped my resume come up rather than the other because i showed that i already have the skills that you are looking for wow. so that helped me land the interview and then an internship that's that was a great smart idea that you did in order to land this job uh, of course hard work is the key yeah. uh, it is not like all the civil engineers don't land to a job or you know all the civil engineers land to a good job but yes hard work and the determination is the key which roshni did have once she landed to canada she made sure that she works hard she studies well she does her part time she manages her time and then she landed to a good internship following which she also got the next internship which i would like roshni to talk about okay so let me tell you more about the companies so the first company was pcl construction it's one of the biggest company in north america they are doing the parliament of canada project that's where i was working on that experience helped me get my second internship which is with snc lavalle mm -hmm. which is, which is also a much bigger company so they are working on the trillium line project and as i said of summary of qualifications the internship i am doing currently was looking for someone with experience of software primavera and i made sure that i highlight the word primavera that i know primavera yeah. at the top so that helped me get the interview and then all the technical questions asked in interviews i was able to answer them and then i got this internship again like my second internship so one advice that i would like to give start doing or start working hard when nobody is even thinking of doing it i started in september i came and i started doing it even if i got so many rejections so many rejections and i knew i have to work on my resume i worked over it and then again and again just don't give up and start early start when nobody is doing it perfect roshni thank you so much on this information and students out there who are going to pursue your civil engineering here make sure that you watch this video all the advices given by roshni is definitely going to be helpful for your career path in canada or in any country that you are going to study uh the last question roshni 
would be uh, would you give some advice of course you have given n number of advices in this video but some other advices and feedback to the students who are going to join uh, very soon uh, from their home country who will be landing to a very new country to a new culture to a new tradition so would you give some advice to them please yeah surely uh, as pankaj said before it is really difficult in civil engineering to get a job compared to any other fields so it is very important that you build your resume your skills specifically the softwares that you know uh, what have you learned in your university and everything first of all that secondly manage your time well make sure that you are dedicating enough time for your professional development that's why i think most of the people come to canada to get a good job or to develop their career so make sure every day you're de you're dedicating some time for your yourself your professional your career that would include making your resume better or even linkedin or just applying job third is don't give up trust me you are going to have 100 rejections before you get that one interview so please don't give up keep applying you will get there i'm sure about it thank you so much roshni those advices were actually very helpful to all the students so don't give up so i would like to end this video with this statement that don't give up you will be coming here to a new country to a new journey to a very difficult journey of course uh, eventually everyone will succeed in their life even you will succeed in your life but there are few things that you need to take care and this video for the civil engineers will be definitely helpful uh, thank you so much roshni once thank again you. and to add on roshni's profile and portfolio she is also the current pdc that is professional development clubs president uh, for the year 2023 2024 at university of ottawa you will get a link about this video wherein you can see uh, i have taken an interview with her regarding the pdc club which you also can join which will help you network and once again thank you so much thank you. congratulations for thank getting you. two different internships thank you. Uh, so if there's any questions please do mention in the comment section below i'll be mentioning uh, roshni's uh, linkedin profile uh, link uh, please connect with her in case there's any questions that you want to ask her directly i'll also mention my linkedin profile in case you have any questions you can ping me up uh, so uh, thank you so much for watching the video and thank you roshni thank have you. a good one thank you <laughs>